Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question height of a binary tree. So the question is, given a root of a binary tree, you have to return the maximum height of this binary tree. So for this example here, you should return me 4 because this particular path from root to leaf is of size 4. So how does this work? You calculate the height of the left side, you calculate the height of the right side, you get the max of the two heights, you add to 1 to it and then you return this to the calling function. So here, for example here, for 6, you get a left side height which is 1, you get right size height which is 2, so you get the max of the 1 or 2 which is 2, you add 1 to it, so you return 3 to here. Similarly 5 returns 1, so for 10, uh, you get max of 3 and 1 which is 3, and then you add 1 to it and you turn 4 to the calling function, and 4 is the height of the binary tree. I have a quote written here which I just described, if root is not return 0, otherwise get the height of the left side, get the height of the right side, get the max of left or right and return 1, add 1 to it and return this to the calling function. Let's simulate, simulate this in a call stack. Let's see how this works. So my root is 10 initially and then I go into the height, my root is not null. So then I go into recursion from this line number 1 and I call height again with root left which is 5. Again 5 is not null so I go into recursion from line number 1 with root left which is null. So here null returns 0 so left height for 5 is 0 and then 5 goes in executes line number 2 which is again a recursion with 5's right which is again null so root is null, so it returns 0. So line number 2 is completed for 5 and right height value is again 0. And then it returns, so then 5 returns 1 plus max of 0 and 0 which is 1. So 5, so 5 returns to 10 value of 1. So we set from this line number 1, so left height is set to 1 and we are, done we are done with line number 1 so we execute line number 2 for 10 and it goes into the recursion again for the right side so this time we get 6 6 is not null so 6 goes into recursion again from line number 1 for its left which is 8 8 is not null so 8 goes into the recursion from line number 1 with its left which is null so null returns 0 to 8 so, so we are done with line number 1 for 8 which is uh, and then we set the left height which is 0 and then we execute line number 2 for 8 and here again line number 2 again left 8's right is null so it returns 0 so we set, the re we set the right height to 0 for 8 and we execute line number 3 for 8 line number 3 for 8 says that 1 return 1 plus max of 0 and 0 so 8 returns 1 to the calling function. So 8 returns 1 to 6 and 6 we were executing line number 1 so we set left height of 6 as 1 and we execute line number 2 of 6 so we go on here and we call height with root height so 6 right is 7 7 is again not null we go into recursion from line number 1 7's left is null so we come back from there and we get left height is 0 for 7 and we execute line number 2 for 7 and line number 2 for 7 is 7's right so that is 4 so 4 we are, 4 is again not null again its height uh, we are, it goes into recursion from line number 1 so it goes into null again uh, null is return 0 when the root is null it returns 0 so 4's left height is 0 similarly 4's right height will be 0 so finally at line number 3 4 returns 1 plus max of 0 and 0 so 1 so 4 returns 1 to 7 so in 7 we were at line number 2 so right height is set to 1 we have already set the left height of 0 and right height as, as 1 so then 7 executes line number 3 and for, for that it means that one, uh, 1 plus max of left and right. 
So max of left and right is 1 plus adding 1 to it, so 2. So 7 returns 2 to 6. So we were at line number 2 for 6, so right height is set as 2, and then 6 returns max of left or right, so max of left or right is 2, plus 1. So 6 returns 3 to 10. So we were at line number 2 for 10, so the right height is set as 3, and then 10 executes line number 3, which is 1 plus max of left and right, so max of left and right is 3 plus 1, 4. So 10 returns 4 to the calling function, which is the height of this binary tree. The space complexity for this example will depend on how big this stack will be. And for this case, the stack will be size, the space complexity will be height of binary tree, which in worst case can be O of n and uh, this time complexity will be O of n because we are visiting all the nodes in this binary tree. If you want to check out the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to 2525. Thanks for watching this video.